in this session we are going to discuss about data types in python first of all what is mean by data type data type specifies simply the type of information stored in a variable okay we have a variable what type of information that is stored in a variable and everyone know python is a dynamically typed language now how to declare remember if it is a dynamically typed language then no need to declare the type of the variable in advance you no need to declare the variable type in advance then how the type is assigned simply based on the value we assigned based on the value we assigned type of the variable is declared automatically suppose a is equal to 3 now a is a variable which hold whole number b is equal to 3.4 b is the variable which hold real number now you got it or else a is equal to 2.7 in now a is the variable which hold float number real number that means in python we are not declaring the type of variable based on the value that we assigned it takes the data type automatically now we will move to different data types in python those are first two one is numbers next two one is boolean next data types are string list tuple dictionary and set so these are the different data types remember among these these two are primitive data types these two are primitive data types what is the meaning of primitive data types the data type which that is the data type in the sense the variables which hold single value the variables of primitive data type will hold single value and primitive in the sense these are the basic data type these are the basic data type all these are non primitive data type it can hold multiple values that is for a single variable we can store multiple values for this a single variable can have single value and these are the basic data type non primitive data type in the sense a single variable can hold multiple values and these non primitive data types are formed from the primitive only so all these are formed by using combination of these ones okay this is the data type now i already said based on the value that we assigned we decide the data type for that we have one function the function name is type of type of is the function which is used to get the type of the data type to get the type of the data type anyway you already know id which is used to get the address so type is used to get the type 
id is used to get the id clear now i will move to data type one by one first numbers the name specifies the numbers means it is used to store numerical values here a variable can hold numerical values and <coughs> sorry and this numbers are categorized into three types the first one is integer the first one is integer integer is used to store whole numbers to store whole numbers what is mean by whole number a number without any decimal point here what is the intention a variable can store numerical values i am on numerical values one type is integer this is integer what is the data type name the data type name is int int only now remember int specifies int specifies this is a whole number that is a number without any decimal point a is equal to some three a is equal to three now type of a a holds an integer value what is the type of a class int class int that means it belongs to the class integer this is one data type int second one is floating data type so floating data type means data type to store real numbers real numbers in the sense the numbers with decimal point numbers with decimal point the data type name is float the data type name is float suppose b is equal to 2.6 now if you are checking type of b what is the answer class float got my point now how do you are getting the type based on the value that we assigned here what is the meaning a variable can store numerical values so the numerical values are categorized into three types first is store only whole numbers second one real numbers and third one complex numbers a data type complex means a variable can store a complex number in the form of a plus bj remember it python complex number is in the form of a plus bj now for example c is equal to 2 plus 3j in this a is called real part b is called imaginary part now if you want you can check type of c what is the type of c class complex clear this is my first two data type that is the my first two categorization numbers which is used to store whole numbers sorry which is used to store numerical values so three types of numerical values if you want to store whole numbers the data type name is integer if you want to store real numbers we are moving to flow data type if you want to store complex numbers move to the complex data type okay now the next one is next one is boolean this is the next to primitive data type boolean remember the boolean is used to store to store the value 
either true or false it does not stores any values boolean is used for storing true or false suppose a is equal to true capital t capital f in the keywords i said true and false t and f begins with upper case letter a is equal to true b is equal to false so to get only true or false we are using boolean data type for example type of a what is the type class b o o l bool only bool is the name of the data type bool is the name of the data type you got my point so these are the primitive data types if you observed all these primitive data types i am storing single values generally primitive data type variables in the sense single valued formats whether it is integer or floating or complex whatever it is it could store single value we can identify the type by using the type function clear now i will give an example a is equal to 3 type of a check the type of a integer suppose b is equal to 3.4 type of b float type is float some c is equal to 2 plus 3j type of c complex and d is equal to true type of d boolean suppose e is equal to none type of e see this one type is none type so along with this one none in the sense the name specifies you are not assigning anything if create a variable just you create a variable but you are not refer to anything if you are not referred to anything in the sense that is none the data type name is none type the data type name is none type okay these are the primitive data types okay before going to non primitive data types i will give you some clarification in python consider for an integer first integer a is equal to 3 whenever i create a variable system that is a compiler checks whether this value whether any memory location is existed with a value 3 or not initially no memory location is existed with a value 3 so it creates a new memory location with a value 3 referred by a with some address any address thousand for example now meanwhile within the program suppose if i create a variable b with the same value what is the procedure again checks any memory location is created with the value 3 or not if it is created then instead of creating new memory location b also points to the same location why to save the memory here both variables have same values to save the memory refer to the same location for example in the future if you change the value of b if you change the value of b in that situation it creates a new memory location until you change the values of a and b it points to the same memory location to save the memory space but remember but the important point is this memory saving is applicable for only small numbers suppose if the number size is increased so for even though same value even though 
same value assigned different addresses assigned different addresses we will see see this one a is equal to 512 b is equal to 512 now id of a that is address of a now id of b address of b so the number 512 the values are different now suppose a is equal to 256 b is equal to 256 id of a id of b observe the address same address and finally a is equal to 257 b is equal to 257 now id of a id of b so that means in my system up to value 256 it assigns the same memory location maybe depending upon the architecture and the version of os in your system it supports up to 512 also it supports up to 512 also you clear the point this is for simple small numbers to save the memory space they are using this concept to so save the memory space they are okay this is primitive data type primitive data types into flow to complex and then boolean now move to next non primitive data types remember the main important part of python the main main important part of python is string list tuple dictionary and set this is the main important now in this session i will give you a brief idea not in detail what is a string how to create a string how to access what is a list how to create how to access just to what is what after completion of some five to six classes i will give you a complete each for example string different ways of accessing the string different operations that are performed on the string different functions available in the string different methods available in the string we will discuss in detail but here right now i will give you a brief introduction why in the sense if you want to get in detail you need one topic for example control statements are needed but if you want to know control statements you need to know this topic all are interrelated that is the reason here i am given a brief introduction remember only brief introduction this is not the complete topic just to what is what just to for understanding in that my first to topic is string what is a string simply string is a sequence of characters remember the term sequence of that means multiple values string is a sequence of characters that are enclosed within quotations that is called a string a sequence of characters that is enclosed in a quotations that is called a string for example s1 is equal to welcome this is a string now s1 is a string which consists of welcome here which quote Quotation you are using to create a string, we can use single quotation, or you can use double quotation. You can use anything. Yes, two is equal to suppose good morning. This is also a string. String is not a single word. Remember, not a single word. any number of words that are placed in quotations whether it is a single quotation or double quotation even triple quotation also now 
S3 is equal to welcome to Python. So this is the string that is created in double quotation. Now you got it. String is a sequence of characters that are placed within double quotation. For example, create a string S4. Is it possible? Yes, possible. Remember, anything. Suppose S5 is equal to hello dollar how underscore you. This is also a string. You can place anything inside the quotation. Anything. There is no restriction. You need to use only alphabets. You need to use characters. There is no restriction. You can place anything inside the quotations. That is called a string. Now generally we are using single and double quotations for creating the string. And remember by using and single and double quotations we are creating the string in a single line. We are creating the string in a single line. What is the meaning? I will show you. Suppose S1 is equal to welcome to Python. Now a string is created. S2 is equal to suppose good morning. Now see this one. A string S1 is created. S2 is also created whether you are given in single quotation or double quotation system treated as single quotation but anyway you are not getting any error single or double suppose here I am creating a string S3 is equal to welcome press enter immediately it gives an error why by using single and double you can create a string of any length but in a single line only see this one whenever you are given error it produces unterminated string now s3 is equal to if you want to create a string in multiple lines you can move to triple quotations but sir where is the triple quotations see this one one two three one two three Either single triple quotations or double triple quotations. In your keyboard only single and double quotations are available. If you are using single triple quotations or double triple quotations. Now S3 is equal to now welcome press enter. See this one. It does not give any error. Close. S3. Now the string is created. Here slash n slash n specifies there we have a new line. There we have a new line. Suppose if you are using like this, whatever the string we created that is printed exactly. Finally, type of s1 or type of S2, type of S3, what is the type? STR, remember the name, the name is STR, it is the type of data, data type name is STR class, STR, clear? This is the way to create a string, here for every concept I am explaining two things, one is creation, one is creation now after creation my second point is access a character after creation i want to access a character suppose a string s is created as you welcome is the string a string s is created assume the string is welcome how the welcome is stored question how 
the welcome is stored remember string is a sequence of characters all the sequence means in the continuation order the characters are stored according to the index or also called as positions so remember if this is the string the character w is stored at position 0 in the order suppose w is started at position number 0 that is index 0 e at position 1 l position 2 position 3 4 5 6 you got it that is the definition sequence of character always remember if you take a string assume the length of the string is n length in the sense the number of characters if the length of the string is n the characters are stored from the index 0 to n minus 1 this is fixed 0 to n minus 1 that is fixed here welcome the number of characters are 7 the first two character is stored at 0th position next to 1 and so on 6 now after creation of a string if you want to access a character how anyway you have the answer by default all the characters are stored according to the indexes that is fixed by default you no need to do anything remember you are not allowed to modify anything and at the same time no duplicates also 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 no duplicates are also everything is fixed now how do we access a character we are accessing a character based on position based on index how string name the syntax is string name followed by square bracket index string name in the sense the name of the string that is from which string we are accessing the character from which string we are accessing the character in square bracket we are specifying the index suppose what is my string name yes yes of 0 what is s of 0 now the output is w suppose s yes of 5 the output is m clear this is the way to access a character remember whatever i discussed this is the same in c c plus plus java python all the programming languages the concept is same in python Sorry. someone having a doubt they want to ask you some questions okay they put in a chat box okay i will check that out Can you please pass and ask questions? Can you please pass for a few minutes? We have a few questions. I don't want to interrupt. Ah, yes, please. What's over? Okay. Hey, okay. can you go back to the uh, this is summary? Can you go back to the other screen that you printed something, the console? The Python okay. console. Yeah. So you made this, right? The line number after S3, welcome, backslash N2, backslash and Python. Mm. Mm. How, how did you bring that one, sir? So, this one actually here we are creating the string in multiple lines. Oh, okay. Multiple okay. lines. By uh -huh. default, uh, new line is termed as backslash n. n specifies new line. So, you are doing the display of S3 or, or print S3? Exactly. Okay. Here, if I am writing S3 here, it displays like this. Suppose, for example, see this one, S1 is equal to welcome to Python. Mm -hmm. I written in single quotation. S2 mm -hmm. is equal to good morning. I written in double quotation. Okay. Suppose here I use it directly if I am using the variable name, the answer is displayed in single quotation. 
now observe if i am using print statement anyway print concept is not completed in the next session this is no, our no, statement no, print is just a display okay Got yes it. print s2 in the sense without quotations is display observe okay. if you are using print s2 means without quotations is display here simply here also if you are using just a variable name here backslash and specifies after welcome in the new line 2 is yeah. there oh, after so 2 it, in the new line new python line. is there okay yes, so backslash exactly. and new line i think new c line. also have the same thing right in every programming languages yeah. every that programming languages okay. same yeah. exactly printf or something so my question mm. is even you compare you know I, I i know you are explaining very well in data type but we all have a programming background right when you talk okay. about the integer you can compare with the integer okay, okay. so if a decimal and float do you have something like that right not actually com not comparison between decimal and float remember we need to mm -hmm. compare between decimal binary octal and hexadecimal integer have four variations oh okay so integer has a four variations it's integer have decimal four variations also come under come under integer 100 percent i see so an integer is represented in four ways either a decimal integer binary octal hexadecimal for example uh, a is equal to 123 this is by default every number every number is a decimal number and Correct. assume b is equal to uh, some 0 b if you proceed with 0 b mm -hmm. 1111 here b not an alphanumeric yeah. any number prefixed with 0 b any <coughs> number prefixed with 0 b that is called as a binary number i see okay 0 b that is called binary. as a binary number uh -huh. Now see what is the value of B? 7. But I given this one. Remember this binary is converted into again decimal only. See this one. How you are getting the decimal? Triple 1. Triple 1 in the sense I will show you practically. So suppose my number is 324. How we said that 324 in decimal number, this is 10 power 0, 10 power 1, 10 square h. Mm -hmm. Unit position. So 3 yeah. into 10 square plus 2 into 10 power 1 plus mm -hmm. 4 into 10 power 0. So mm -hmm. 3 into 100, 300 plus 20 plus 4, then only 324. Mm -hmm. Similarly, triple 1, it is a binary. Binary in the sense 2. So, the numbers are 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 square. So, 1 oh. into 2 square 4 plus 1 into 2 power 1, 2 plus 1 into 2 power 0, 1. The total value is 7. You got it? Oh, okay. Okay. Actually, whatever <laughs> the number format we are given, system internally converted into decimal only. And one more example. Suppose some c is equal to 0 o 73 now here 73 is an octal number any number that is prefixed with 0 o that is an octal number but here i print the value of c what is the value simply 3 into 8 power 0 plus 7 into 8 power 1, 7, 8 jar, 56, 56 plus 3, 59. This is the answer. Got yes, mm -hmm. exactly. So, that is the integer variations. Anyway, internally that is happened, but whatever you are given, there is no restriction. Everything is treated as our normal, regular integers only. Yes, Understood. clear? Yes. Yes. So and, uh, and if we come for no. the uh, 2.36, that is also common integer? No, no, no. 2.36, a number with a decimal point is a float. Oh, okay. Float. Okay. Float. If you are using a point in the sense, that is float. Remember, this is not only hmm. in Python. C, C, Java, Python, whatever the language, 
into and float both are fixed into and float both are fixed no change okay yes and uh, alpha numeric comma under string yes uh, not only alpha numeric anything here the question any is anything anything, but, uh, anything in quotations and yes. alpha numeric means uh, the term is only alphabets and only digits combination okay alpha numeric in the sense alphabets and digits but anything inside the quotation comes under a string for example just for clarification s4 is equal to now here i create a string now type of s4 str only here i used this percentage numbers underscore etc clear okay yeah yes clear Yes. In order to access the character, say? you have to go by the listing S yes, four zero or something. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. My marriage in this one. okay mm. so here we are accessing the character by using index i already said either c c plus plus java python all the languages this is fixed python have an additional feature also compared to remaining programming languages python have an additional features that feature is we can access the characters in backward direction also here this is called forward direction generally 0 1 2 3 4 in the sense forward direction we can in the forward direction we are using positive index by using positive index we can move in the forward direction exactly by using the concept of negative index we can access the character in backward direction how here in the reverse direction already generally zero is considered under positive now our negative number starts from minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five minus 6 and minus 7 very simple if you want to access the characters at the beginning we are using positive for example i want the last character my simple question is i want the last character in the string what is the procedure first you need to find out the length of a string find out the length of a string so okay I find out the length of a string, the length of a string is 7 and then S of 6. If I am calling S of 6, then only I am getting the last character. Now to save that is memory also, that to uh, calculation also, instead of calculating the length of a string, if I want the last character, simply S of minus 1 obviously minus one is the last character what is the answer e is the answer you can use either a positive direction or that is a forward direction by using positive index backward direction by using negative index now i will show you that one Here I create a new shell, create a string separately. Welcome. Just for your understanding, I used only or else use the entire term welcome to Python. Welcome to Python. S of 0. W is the answer. Total how many characters? Uh, 7 in space is also counted remember 
space is also counted 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 yes of 16 character is n now s of minus 1 what is the one n is the answer s of minus 2 o is the answer s of 7 observe the answer space here this is space remember space is also counted now everyone remember one point my characters are from 0 to 16 or minus 1 to minus 17 yes of some 17 one second yes of 17 there is no character at position number 17 got my point my characters are from 0 to 16 only there is no character at position number 17 now that means you want to you are trying to access a character that is not available within the index now it gives an error what is the error name index error you are getting index error out of range see this one index error string index out of range you are allowed from 0 to 16 only, but you are trying to access the 17. And exactly for the negative also, S of minus 18 is not there. We are getting an index error. If you want to try access an element out of range, this is an error. And one last point up to now we discussed what is a string how to create a string how do we access the characters of a string and one important point is everyone remember string is immutable this is the most important term immutable what is the meaning once we create a string it is not possible to modify. Once a string is created, it is not possible to modify. Modification is not possible. Okay. Just to hear right now, I will give you the basic example. Whenever we are moving to the next string concept, once again, there I will give the complete details. There I will give the complete details. So, s of 0 what is s of 0 w is equal to some k what is my intention at 0 to position i want to assign the value k now you are getting an error string object does not support item assignment string object does not support item assignment clear just do remember only one th this point anyway i will clearly explain this topic whenever i move to the string concept why because why to explain this one we need multiple methods are there i will explain this one by using that methods no problem now any doubts under the string anyone any doubts under the string here what you need to know just to creation my thing is just to how to create how do we access only two points under these points if you have any doubts uh, can we access more than one element from the string exactly you can access but the elements uh, by using the concept of slicing not an indexing by using the concept of slice we can access any number of multiple characters in sequence in sequence in the sense in some order for example anyway right now just for your doubt only i will explain yes of uh, one colon some 12 colon one this one we are accessing this many number of characters but right now i am not explaining this one right now i am not explaining this one 
Why? Because just this okay. is an introduction. Just to what is what only. Okay. 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 Yes. Any yeah, other else? Yeah. Okay. yeah actually, uh, okay. in in real time, while we are okay. defining the string, uh, sometimes okay. may, uh, hexadecimal characters will come. Exactly. As you said, as you said, string should not uh, modified. String exactly. is always string. Mm. Mm. Uh, then in that situation, uh, which approach I can able to so yes. split the yes. Remember, okay, I got your question. Remember, actually string is not modified. That is fine. But here, anyway, uh, you have doubt means I will explain see this one. I have a string s is equal to welcome to Python. Now, s plus plus is can, can, addition. Can you explain the question first? We don't understand the requirement. Oh, okay. uh, no, actually, uh, sometimes in real time, hexadecimal, mm -hmm. like a uh, string uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 data will be coming in particular uh, field. Oh, so, okay. I need to split it into the characters is one variable and uh, numeric values will be moved to the another variable. Yes. At that time, as he said, string should not change. Once we defined the uh, one variable as the string, it should not change. Uh, mm -hmm. How to handle for that situation? Actually, actually, I'm only explaining that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will explain that one only. For your understanding, I use one plus operation. For example, as you, instead of division, I am combining S is equal to S plus. Plus is used for concatenation. For example, hello. That is for the, I already said string is not modified. But here for the string, I am adding hello. See the output modified. Yes or no? But why I am using that word? I will explain this one. Now, I given yes. What is the output? Welcome to Python only. Here internally what happened means just to an operation is performed and the result is shown to you. The original string is not modified. Anyway, suppose if you want to modify it, now check ID of S. What is the address of S? This is. Now, S is equal to S plus hello. S is equal to S plus hello. That means for the original string, welcome to Python. I am adding hello and assign it to S only again. Now, Yes, is welcome to Python. Hello, that is updated fine. String is modified. That is our intention. But originally, string is not modified. See this one ID of S. What is the address? Sorry, one second. Mm, welcome. Okay. Yeah, the same, same address. Uh, no, 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 no. Different, different. One second. Avoid confusion. S1 is equal to completely different, not a problem. Welcome. Now, ID of S1. So, this is my address. Now, S1 is equal to S1 plus good. Now, ID of S1. Oh, we are getting same. Okay, fine. One second. Mm, S1 is welcome, ID of S1, compulsory string is immutable, the address is changed, what is S1, welcome good, one second only. Sorry, I used to type. See, 
actually in this interactive mode it does not consider the previous one whenever we are updated actually i already said suppose here s1 is welcome okay id of s1 this one whenever you are modified s1 it won't consider the previous one we lost the previous value anyway you type id of s1 any number of times it gives the same value ignore the interactive mode now see this one initially s is equal to welcome first i am printing id of s what is the address of s this is the address of s here i add something to s string is immutable yes, right? yeah i got it uh, you are overriding you got yes. it yeah but not actually not yes. overriding actually remember not overriding here the thing is it creates a new memory location correct correct overriding in the sense of overriding and it stores in the new memory location if you ah, keep exactly. the same s1 the left hand side s1 or you know you have the s1 right create a new yes. variable it is still yes. shows the both old and new ah exactly okay. that is a problem can you check can you check the third line hmm. s1 equal to s plus good print s1 here no in the go to that program this one ah, yeah. ah. yes s1 equal to yes plus good yeah no no okay the same line i think you are wow i don't need the second line don't create a new one okay yeah. what much yes one equal to okay yes one that's it yes one yes yes one yes uh equal to no don't create a new line same line you uh, same line. line just modify yes yes one that's it print okay. s1 come down and print s1 now you already it's not a problem it will supply to new memory location no, print id s1 sir okay okay print id s1 yeah okay Go yes ahead. so for this right. what happened see this one so yes first one memory location is created for example assume the address is 1000 and good is added Uh, that is assigned to S1. Assume the separate address some 2000. Now both S is existed. S1 is also existed with two different locations. Yeah. Now can you run? Just yes. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure that is not override. Okay. Mm. It's not override on S1. Hundred percent is not override. Yeah. Mm. Now you got a string is immutable. now what is your question is you said that splitting for that also we have a function is there for example uh like this assume uh, for example 5 5 5 for example just i will give a basic after that i will give the complete idea split of 5 whenever you are given 5 based on the 5 divide the string w e l is one string g o j k is one string f d n g before and after 5 it is considered strings by is we can divide the string so many methods are there whenever we are going to the string concept we discuss all the methods not a problem you got it clear No, I I don't understand the uh, the answer. No no no. Ah no no no. Remember, uh, split is right now not required. Right now split is not required. Just to for division. So one person asked me how to divide. Just to for division also predefined method is existed. The method name is split. By using split we can divide. Just to for only I will explain. Anyway, that concept comes under our next topic. No problem. Do you have any yes. recommendation on the document where to read all the syntax and all? Do you have any? Yes, yes. I will give you the complete details. Yes, yes. I will share okay. the complete details. Okay. No problem. Not your own document. Share. Something the website. Yes, yes. Has. I understand. Test book. Reference test books. Yes. 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 I will share you. I will share you. Okay.